often sensitive than people think. And if they are shut up in this way too early away from those they love, excessive sensitiveness, which plays with their nerves, may develop and become pathological and dangerous. I hardly played any games. I made no friends and was violently homesick all the time. I cried in bed at night and was always trying to recall memories of home, trivial memories of little insignificant things and happenings. I could not get out of my mind all I had left behind. I gradually became a nervous wreck for whom trifling difficulties assumed the proportions of accurate misery. The result was that I remained morose and self-centered, inhibited and friendless. The process of increasing mental strain went on subconsciously but surely. Children's nerves are easily affected. Great care ought to be taken to avoid any disturbance in their lives until they are practically mature. But who realizes